Oh, how are you, Darren? Good, thanks. Uh, what do you think about playing basketball in these smaller cities, like Wyala? Oh, look, it's always good to come out to regional centres. I think, um, you know, the Sixers try every pre-season to come along and, and do something like this. It's the second time in Wyala, and you know, the guys really enjoy it. And obviously the community is fantastic in um, uh, making us feel welcome and, and making sure that our stay is a good one. You've had a good pre-season so far? Yeah, it's been pretty tough, actually. Um, a lot of running and uh, a bit of basketball in between, but uh, main, mainly running and, and weight lifting and that kind of thing, and getting ready for the season, yeah. You think the Sixers will go well this season? Yeah, look, I think, I think uh, you know, as, uh, as Gordy McLeod and Scott Nelson touched on at the Sportsman's night, the league's going to be pretty close. Um, you know, it's going to be a matter of a few points here and there, so... Um, We'll see how the season goes, but I think the season will definitely be really competitive this year. In your NBL career, who's been the hardest person to guard? Um, it's probably a tough one, actually. Um, I think the you know a lot of players that I've matched up on uh, have been pretty talented. Uh, players like Darren McDonald um, was pretty tough to guard. He, he was able to basically do what he wanted. Um, others like. Uh, you know, Andrew Gaze, when he was playing, I was lucky enough to play against him a few times. Uh, he was definitely a very good player. And, um, you know, although I didn't have to guard him during games, but I guarded him a lot during training. Brett Maher, uh, absolutely, you know, very difficult to defend and a good player. Who's the greatest basketball ever in your eyes? Uh, hard to go past Michael Jordan, I think. Um, and, you know, the things he did just... Uh, on the court, and then uh, promoting basketball and getting people to, uh, you know, watch basketball and, and be enthusiastic about basketball. It's great. Uh, which of your teammates would you most like to pay out, and why? Most like to pay out. Um, <laughs> uh, I don't know. I think we're still getting to know each other a fair bit. Probably Jacob Holmes. I'd like to give him a, bit, a little bit, of, uh, a little bit of stick here and there because I've known him for a long time. In a movie about your life, who would play you? Uh, ooh, tough one. Not too sure about that one. Um, we'll see. I don't think it would ever happen. <laughs> uh, what's your biggest fear? Uh, biggest fear, probably snakes. Don't like snakes. If you had to choose, would you rather be a basketballer or a doctor? Um, well. Lucky I don't have to choose because I'm both. <laughs> um, um, you know, hopefully I can play basketball for a few more years. Once that's done, then then obviously medicine's going to take over, and I'll be a doctor full time. Enjoying being a doctor? Yeah, yeah, great, great. I've been working at the Royal Adelaide Hospital, and um, you know, enjoy another side of life as opposed to basketball and, and, and playing sport, professional sports. Being able to have another career is, is great, and I know that's going to be there when I finish. So, um, you know, I'm looking forward to that. Just enjoying basketball while I can. So are you fully qualified now as a doctor? Yeah, yeah. I finished, uh, graduated sort of a year and a half ago, so um, I think it. When you retire from basketball, is being a doctor what you're going to do full time? Yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll do that uh, full time. Put a bit more, um, you know, hours into it after the basketball. Um, yeah, hopefully, and keep this going for a few more years. Which Simpsons character is most like you? Uh, I think probably. Let me just think about my Simpsons characters. <laughs> uh, let's say, uh, let's say the, uh, the Doctor, Doctor Hibbert, isn't it? Yeah. Thanks very much, Darren. All right, no race.